with, let's see. We have FWLM has started on Radio Tower side and they are moving up towards Radio Tower currently. They have brought, uh, let me get into view so I can see just what they brought. Looks like they brought some uh, ca a Catapult K2, Dragon Slayer Cataphract, uh, Griffin, Yenlo. I think this is going to be a brawling composition. I see uh, an Atlas DDC. So, yep, that's definitely a brawling composition. Uh, unless it brought alarms, I'll check in just a second. Whereas K two actually has dual gauss, so oh, alrighty, I'll have to check in on that. Uh, whereas for the Death Knights, we have uh, three spiders, two, three Jaeger mechs, uh, four cataphracts, a blackjack, and a battlemaster. And it looks like they have moved up very quickly and are all actually under arch at the moment. Whereas uh, we have FWLM has moved up. On to Radio Tower. And is in fact, yep. Sorry, MGA, FWO, MGA. We're going to call them MGA because it's way easier to say. Uh, MGA is holding at Radio Tower, whereas it looks like Death Knights are scouting out a tunnel push. And I think they're going to go for it. We see uh, some Cataphracts and Jaeger mechs sitting back in the tunnel holding. Uh, their position, just making sure that they don't get spotted, and it doesn't look like anybody's seen it, although we have an Atlas, uh, a Dual Gauze K2, a Cataphract, and a Yenlo just watching the tunnel entrance from backside, so this could be a short fight. We see PPCs get shot into the tunnel from MGA. They know that the enemy mechs are here. A UAV goes up from the Death Knight Spider trying to get some good scouting information, and we see uh, an, a UAV also go up from MGA. They are just trying to make sure that they are not surprised by anything. Oh, UAV goes down for Death Knights, but they are pushing up. We see uh, Cataphracts and Jaegers moving up, trying to get some good eyes into uh, Tiny Town at the same time. Oh, and Ice already goes down, takes that yellow wing down to 70%. Uh, and the mechs pour out of the tunnel, so we see a good old-fashioned brawl going on. Uh, I'm going to hop into the perspective of this Atlas really quick. I'm actually wondering if uh, Death Knights are taking a leaf out of BSA's book. They're doing a very similar split push up the grinder and through the cave, just because you yep. can't funnel your entire team into one section. Yep, and a, a very well-timed push. However, the first kill does go down and uh, for MGA taking one off of... Uh, Death Knights, but this is a very developed brawl. Uh, all it looks like both teams have nearly all of their mechs in play. Uh, two kills now have gone down for Death Knights. They are slowly gaining a lead. Oh nope, tied pack up again. This is one of those really close brawls that's going to be hard to call. Uh, Atlas here takes some heavy damage, uh, but the score is still two to two. It looks like the assault mechs for Death Knights are beginning to move in, and a third kill goes down. The current score is four to two in favor of Death Knights. And we see of those oh. kills, they've actually worked down the Atlases, which are the biggest chunk. And the, everybody else on the field is still very, very damaged. And actually, guys are dropping like flies from both sides. Yep, we see a lot of really close proximity airstrikes, which are doing a lot of work. Wow! Wow, two kills all at once right there, bringing the score back in favor of MGA. It was tied up 6-6, six to six, and they get a couple of really quick kills. I believe that was an airstrike. Um, and eight, so six now, now. Yep, 8-6 in favor of MGA. And we've got a Blackjack fighting for its life for... Uh, Death Knights trying to get some good shots in. Uh, seven to eight, seven to nine. Uh, MGA picks up another kill. And uh, judging by the percentages on these mechs, I have to say, I think MGA is going to pull it out. Their mechs look healthy, and I think I think they're going to do it. Yep, a ten to seven. Blackjack still up for uh, Death Knights, so he could. He could have a hero carry, but it's true, and we see uh, we see this cataphract doing a lot of work. Actually, it's ten to eight, uh, not completely out of the realm of possibility. Uh, still got both of his gauze rifles left, but he finally goes down eleven to eight. Uh, uh, you know, I'm blackjack, praying for a I miracle, believe. blackjack. Let's do it. Come on, blackjack. Eleven to eight. He's taking good shots in on this uh, shadowhawk. 
Artie goes down, maybe you'll pick off a kill with that. Uh, Raven overheats behind him, doesn't get the kill with the Artie. Uh, hops up trying to get away a little bit from the rest of these mechs, trying to draw it out into maybe a one-on-one -on -one fight. No, he's just going back in, he's going for it. And he looks like he loses a leg, he's legged, and that's going to be game. The MGA will move forward once this already drops. Hey! His opponents go down. He's still up. He just doesn't want to die. There we go. Not quite the hero blackjack we were looking for. Yeah, but not the hero we wanted, hero. but the hero we needed right now. Nope. <laughs> I'm All right. So that means that the uh, Holy FW. Crap. That Shadowhawk? 925 damage, 4 kills. I think that must have been the one that dropped the, the dual kill Artie. That's uh, that's good for a Shadowhawk, not gonna lie. Um, so that does mean that FWLM will move on from this game into next round. Yes, that is FWLM-MGA winning the 11th and final match of the day versus the Death Knights. Now, that was a good match. I mean, that went was, back and forth. Fun. Yeah. Really liked that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then do we have an update on who won the Smoke Adder game? Yes, Black Sheep won that one. Okay, so uh, that game was being replayed while we streamed this. So Black Sheep took that game. Actually, I think they did. But I will have to confirm we'll that. We'll confirm that, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, the winner of that game actually goes on to fight the winner of this game. So it'll be uh, be nice to find out. That game will be uh, played, obviously, this Friday or Saturday coming up once we get all of the games for this week played. Be right back. I'm going to double check with them. Okay. All right. All right. So, Phil, uh, what did you experience from the Eye in the Sky? Well, obviously, we saw the push through the tunnels. Um, the other team was set up um, at the time. Um, it turned out just to be a cluster. Uh, I'm not going to lie, especially with all the Artie being struck uh, right down, uh, literally on top of positions. I'm wondering how many people actually took damage from their own Artie or their friendlies took uh, damage from their own Artie. I mean, that's really dangerous. I mean, just to throw it there and just say, you know, oh, well, whatever happens, happens. Um, so I think a lot of damage happened because of that. Um, everything got, got bogged down there. And I feel like uh, some of those mechs need maneuverability. The spiders, especially with ER large setups, they need mobility. So I don't know what they were necessarily doing in there. I'm wondering, uh, you know, could they have just sort of waited? You know, on the outskirts, maybe just harassed up on the tower hill and not drop down. Um, so I feel like they could have probably done a little bit better with that. But uh, overall, just sort of crazy, especially being in the middle of that. Um, all right, looks like we're just getting confirmation on a few things. Uh, but anyways, so we will be covering uh, tomorrow's matches as well. We still have five matches to go. We've got, uh, again, Black Sun starting at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern against Team Fancy Beer. So if you'd like to join us, we will be here. All these uh, uh, matches will be put up on uh, YouTube as well, guys. So if you missed it, do not worry. We'll get those up on YouTube as soon as possible. I think we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. Uh, again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out. Hey, if this is your first time at this channel, make sure to hit that follow button. Uh, we will be posting as well on Facebook and uh, Twitter when we're going live tomorrow. But we should go live about 15, 20 minutes prior to the match. And uh, then we've got the five matches kicking off at 7 p.m. Thank you to Raffle and Siri for doing commentary throughout this entire event. You guys have been awesome. Looking forward to the matches you guys are going to be participating in tomorrow, as well as, uh, well as more commentary for coming from you. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a total blast. I've been really happy to be here. Using this tool is a lot of fun. And, uh, I mean, obviously I am excited to play, but uh, win or loss, I get to do this, which is uh, a blast. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Raffle. Thank you, Siri. Thank you, Brandon, for helping uh, all day. And uh, Rodian, we appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Farpin Noodle, for the overlay. 
we appreciate that big time for everybody spectator mode is in alpha stage so it will be improving matches will be improving and these uh tournaments will be improving so also congratulations to the two winners of the uh giveaways tonight you will be contacted on facebook and uh, then we'll announce you guys on our facebook page as well so congratulations to all of you and uh great job from all the teams i some seriously good playing today and i can't wait to uh see tomorrow night i'm excited all right, guys, everyone have a great night. Thank you again to all the participants. You guys are awesome. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. You guys had great matches tonight. Look forward to seeing uh, more mech porn action tomorrow. Albeit, uh, we probably won't be streaming in the afternoon because we have uh, quite a few hours of streaming tomorrow night. Don't forget, we will be wrapping up uh, round two next Friday and Saturday. Um, those times and brackets will be posted after tomorrow's matches. And yeah, so stay tuned. And then obviously we have the finals, the semifinals, or I should say quarterfinals, and the uh, semi and finals on the 29th and 30th at the end of the month. So only a week away. Oh, I'm excited. just to clarify, right before we go off the air, uh, the match between um, Black Sheep and... Smoke Adder. Smoke Adder. Thank you, Ruffle is no still ongoing and they had, they had to redraw once or twice but they've been having a few technical difficulties but i believe we're yep. just going to let that wrap up on its own yep. if you want to get uh, match results we'll announce them tomorrow night but you can head on to over to mwomercs.com uh, hopefully they'll be updated tomorrow depends if canada has a holiday or people in the office whatever but uh we'll get that info out to you as soon as possible at the latest you'll hear from us tomorrow night all right guys that's going to go and wrap it up for tonight this has been your mech online tournament beta but uh, we will be back tomorrow night for some more mech porn action. Have a great night. Be safe. We'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, mech warriors. Thanks night for everyone. watching, guys. Night, guys. <laughs>